I, I can start. Hello. Hi. Hi. So you have 13 players away with their national teams, is that right? Yeah. An, an unlucky 13, anyone come back injured? Um, no injuries from the players that they went for the national team, that is a, a, a good sign. Of course, we... Um, Two of them, they just trained this morning. You keep assessing them and um, to see how they are, but they look in a, in a good shape. Some with uh, long journeys, as you know, it's not easy. We had some players in America, not just uh, uh, Tim Rim, Raul in that area too. And um, even even Ben Len was the national team in America. Uh, but we are assessing them and let's see the next few days. We have more, more some days to prepare the game. And I know it's the same for Tottenham, but you know the fact the game is on a Monday night and players are just arriving back now is that is that helpful? Definitely for us and for Tottenham, I think is a, is a, is a different scenario. Imagine that normally you have this this type of games on a Saturday or at least on on a Sunday, and um, it's different. As I said to you, some players they just um, have trained this morning and. Probably this moment we are going to prepare to go to the hotel to play tomorrow, and uh, is what it is. When you have uh, more two days to prepare, the the game is always a, a good help. You cannot hide that situation, and as I said, it's for us and for Tottenham. Because Jurgen Klopp has made the point that Liverpool have played a lot of games. I think twice as many games as any other club in the Premier League on a Saturday morning after the international break. Can you see? Can you see his point? I don't, I don't have all the numbers, of course, he's, Jürgen said that because he has the numbers, he has all the facts in, in his hands and of course he is more able to talk about this, this situation. If you ask me direct for, for me, of course, if you have international players that just arrive on a Thursday evening and, uh, or to have the, same, the first session on the, the Friday morning, of course, if the game is early Saturday, is always not the, the best scenario. But uh, the reality is, I think, is not, I understand what you're going to say and of course he's it's for the people that is uh, taking care of it to, to, to care about the players as well because at the end everyone wants the players in the best shape and the best physical condition in the game to don't get in, injured as well. Talking about injuries, the, the, the problems you had before the international break, I'll just get an update on, on some of those if I can. Adama Traore, Thay? Uh, the, the three players that they were, they didn't, um, were involved in the, the, the game was Adama, Kenny Tetti and Tosin, they still out, the three. Um, plus Issa Diop, that, uh, as you know, last game he, he got an injury. Um, we are assessing him, let's see what, how the things goes in the, the next few days. Uh, but he's going to be out of the game. He's, he's out of the game. Yeah, Issa Diop too, yeah. Important player for you. You know, as a, as a top coach, you'll know what progressive carries mm -hmm. is. Second in the Premier League for progressive carries. Does that show how important he is to Fulham? Firstly, show the, the, the way you try to play, the, the, how we demand from our central defence in certain moments to do it. Of course, it's something that is our, in our model, it's something that we, we want and we encourage and we demand from our central defenders when we create the space for them to, to step in and to carry on the ball. And that, that is a, a big part in our, in our game. And of course, this is just a reflex what we prepare with them and what we demand, what we demand from them. And of course, is this a there? Could be team, of course, and could be uh, Calvin or, or, or Tosin if they are on, on the pitch. In some moments, of course, depending really the, the approach from the opposition side, what is the side that um, they want to press more our, uh, ourselves or not. But uh, it just uh, reflects really what we demand and the way we like to play and, uh, and the way we, we build really our attacks in some moments. Yeah. This season, earlier this season, you, you went away to Arsenal and, and you got a draw. Obviously a similar challenge on Monday. Is that, is that result something you can, you can build on in the dressing room, talk to the players about yeah, ahead of this game? They know that we, we, we look for always for the, the, the matches really with the trust and the belief on ourselves, respecting of course Tottenham. Tottenham is doing an amazing start of the season. They, they, are, um, they are on the top of the table it's, and it's clear why, not just because the results, of course, they have to achieve the results to be there. But the way they have been achieving the results is is being really good, and we have to say credits to them. Of course, they have a, they have had a, um, a bad result, if I can say, this season, um, and was against us in the Carabao Cup. Yeah. Uh, and that is the true, of course, at Cottage and uh, different different scenario, different competition as well. We, they made they have made some changes. We we did we did as well. Um, but the reality that was the one of the competitions that we already played each other and, uh, 
was a good evening for us in that in that in that day. Uh, but it's going to be tough playing there. They are in a very good moment. They are uh, the way they have been playing. The connection between them are growing as well, and it's going to be a, a great challenge for us, as you said. Like uh, when you play at Emirates or or or, or another another state with the teams with that quality is always a a great challenge, and we is going to be there for sure. It's going to demand. Um, really hard work from ourselves and very good organization and after the, the belief and the courage to play our, our, our way. That game and the, and the way they lost, penalty, penalty shootout, the emotion of that, do you think that if, if, you, were, if you were Ange, would you use that to add emotion, to, to add desire to the, to the players, for like a revenge kind of thing? Uh, I don't think so. Each game is different, different competition as well. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a good sign that you played against them. And we, I think not just because we won the penalty shot out, we, I think during the, the game, I think we deserve to, to, to enter in the competition and we did it um, very well. But it's, it's a different game, different competition. Four games now, they are in a, even in a better moment that they were in that, in that period. And it's going to be different for sure the game. Just the the same teams they are going to be on the on the pitch, but uh, we have the the the, the belief you have the trust. You don't need to see the, the, the penalty sort of like to, to think in other things because the the ambition and the motivation from our team is is, is really on a high always to to prepare the best we can the games and to go to to match and to to try to win the the, the game and to get the three points. You know the term Spursy, I'm sure. Sometimes you describe Spurs. Could you start that off on Monday a Spursy moment? Uh, let's see. Let let's see. You, you, we can try to do many many things in the game, like Tottenham as well. And of course, the the way the game is going to start. Sometimes you you try to approach the game in one way, and something happened in the first two, three, five, four minutes, and of course, change completely the 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 way the game was prepared and was planned. Of course, we are going to to play there with a with a clear plan what we want to do, the the way we want to approach in in, in all the moments of the the game. But of course, after depending as well what what Tottenham is they are going to do. Of course, we analyze them. We know what we expect from the game. But uh, in some moments, come the 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 quality of the individual players as well on the top. Good good is a, is a good example of the way Tottenham won last game uh, away from home. The game was really tight, and in one inspiration moment from from Madison, they did decided the game and they they, they won. Sometimes you prepare everything, the plan is there, but you know sometimes the individual players they have to to pop up as well and to make the difference. Let's hope uh, we can control well their their individual quality and some of our players they can pop up and to to show the individual quality they have as well. In the world of being a, an elite senior coach is quite a small world. Did you come across Postacoglu before you arrived? No, no. Celtic? no. It was the first time yeah. one month ago, one month and a half ago when you played. Um, in the Carabao Cup, it's going to be to be good to see him again. Uh, he's doing so well. He's having an impact in in, in Tottenham f um, and in Premier League too. And it's going to be a, a tough game for us. Again, it's going to be good to see him again. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Marco. Hi. Just carrying on there about Ange Postecoglou. Are you surprised by how well he's taken to being a Premier League manager? To be honest, no. I, I think if you look for the, the last, okay, I'm not saying before that, but in the last two seasons at Celtic, of course, he, I know that it's different competition, but um, here in this country, normally we follow, we follow um, that league too. And of course, you, you can see many, many similar things that he was doing there that he's trying to, to do again in, in, in Tottenham. And of course, different competition, different players as well. The quality is different, of course. Um, some of the, the players, for sure, they have been enjoying. Uh, you can see, you can read it as well, the way the, the, the approach and the, and the way um, he tried to, to set up his, his players on, on, on the pitch. And of course, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise for us. The quality was there and of course, he's, he's helping the, the players to improve. It's always the job of the manager. Yeah. And bringing it back to your squad, the players that haven't been on international duty that you've managed to do some work with, what has been the key message that you've been trying to get across to them? Um, as you know, of course, we had a very good result for us, an important one before the, the break. Um, some days to rest, not many, to be, to be honest. They would like to have more, but it was not a moment to have that. And of course, after that, um, very good work from them. We, when you stay just with nine players, because we, we, we stay with nine players, senior nine players. 
of course it's not the best number to do of course we had some some young players from to complete the 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 sessions and to have more numbers to to do what we wanted to do in that during that period and it was a, a good moment to to keep the shape in most of them to improve the the physical condition from others that they, they needed as well and they they have been working hard and of course um after the the, the first week as the second week a little bit longer um than normally it is and it's been good for us to keep working with them to keep them uh, improving um for them to be able to to respond for the tough schedule that you have ahead of us okay thank you thank you Hi Marco, um, talking about your last game, obviously there was that really um, bad injury to Chris Basham. I uh, just wonder if your players have spoken to you since then, you know, about how that might have affected them at all, that injury. We, we have spoken, um, we spoke after the match straight away, of course, was a, um, it was really tough to see, it was the, the worst um, and the... Um, Thinking that in that afternoon, to be honest, of course we we had an injury with the Issa Diop as well that everyone was looking that could be uh, serious too. But like that one, uh, we cannot compare. That uh, you can feel straight away the reaction from the players uh, that they are around. Tim Rin is a good example. Um, Bashan teammates as well. The, the reaction, of course, you felt straight away that is something really serious. And it's, it's really tough when you see a professional football player to, to, to suffer something like that. Now is a moment for the, the people around him to support him. For sure they are going to do it and they are doing already, of course, uh, for him to keep strong. And uh, of course, if you see the way you react in social media and all stuff shows the, his character as a, a professional as well. We are going to see him um, as soon as he can again in the, in the, on, on the pitches, that is a, a good sign. About our players, it's a moment no one likes to see, to be involved in that situation, to be around. Uh, but the players, they have to, to keep playing and it was an important afternoon for us. And they, they, they kept the, the focus on the game and we won the game. Oh, you mentioned beating Tottenham in the League Cup, which is the only defeat they've suffered this season. But um, Fulham don't beat Tottenham very often in the league. Um, what... What do you think will change on Monday? Why do you believe that maybe that might change on Monday? I always believe. I always believe. Um, to be honest, I have to be the first one to believe, to make the, my players to, to believe as well. Because, um, and this is the way that I, I see any game and I prepare any game. Of course, we can win, lose or draw the game. Uh, but our aim is always, and the way we prepare the game, is to try to, to get the three points. And the players, they know already. That is the approach since I joined the football club for any game and it's going to be the same. Of course, we respect the team that is on the other side. We know the quality they have, how they have been really strong against any team away and uh, uh, home and away from, um, from the Tottenham Stadium and that's it. And it's going to be tough, but we have to believe in ourselves, to have the trust in our process and to keep improving because the last few games we have been improving in terms of not just results, but in terms of performance, uh, performance as well, and we have to to see the same, see positives always to try to um, to get the results you want. Are they top of the table at the moment? Uh, do you think it's good for the Premier League that there are other teams that are competing for that top spot? Definitely, of course, of course it is. It's not just, of course, we are talking about about Tottenham that they are on the top of the league and credits to them as I said before um, it's not a coincidence when you are there but of course even if you see around of course City Arsenal they, they have been there um, from last season to together too but if you see that teams like Villa Brighton Newcastle is, is covering positions right now shows how, how, how Premier League is really Liverpool in a, in a good moment too shows how, how, how Premier League is so so tough and so competitive and this is a good sign um, I believe in that um, this season is going to be much, much more competitive. I'm not saying just for the first position because you see many clubs around that top clubs with a lot of quality. Last season was one of them was Newcastle to, to get the Champions League spot. And I think in the future we are going to see more because um, some clubs, um, they have been really competitive on the pitch and off the pitch in terms of market too. And of course they have conditions to, to keep improving and to keep fighting for different positions. Finally from me, uh, Richarlison is a player you know very well. He seems to have come through a difficult period at Tottenham, um, unfortunately, because he's now playing quite well. What, what is he like as a player to manage, and do you think he, has, he is now being managed in the right way by the looks of things? 
I don't. I cannot talk about if he's uh, how the things going or how, how they are managing him because I don't have all the facts. For sure, they are trying to do their best. They are supporting him. I I spoke about him when we played in the Carabao Cup, and is what I'm going to see to say again. He's he's a top player. He's a he's a top a top boy, and for a player to achieve what he's been achieving in his football career so far, and the quality, the resilience. Is there definitely? We are talking about a player when first came, and uh, I was the, the the responsible for him to come to England when I was in Watford, and after I I, I took him to Everton too. Um, was a young lad with 21 years old or 20 years old, and now he's already in, in the club in a club like Tottenham, um, national team. I think was the 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 player from Brazil that scored more goals in the last big competition as well shows the quality that he has, how much he's, he's been working to achieve um, the level that is right now. And of course, he's, he's a very good player. And uh, I hope that on next Monday, he's not going to be in his best level because he's going to be a, a good sign for us.